Welcome back live at Birmingham, England. You are experiencing the inaugural Men's Roller Derby World Cup. This is Bob Noxious from Madison, Wisconsin, USA. Announcer for the Brew City Bruisers, sitting alongside the one, the only, <laughs> Pandemonium. Hi, Bob. Thanks. I'm Pandemonium, as you said, and I'm joining you today from the Newcastle Roller Girls. It's a pleasure to be here, and it is an incredible atmosphere. Yeah, it's been a terrific, terrific day. Uh, for those of you who uh, have not tuned in or have, or have followed bits and pieces of this, uh, what you're watching today is basically the win to get in the, into the show version mm -hmm. of uh, our tournament. Uh, Friday is all, today the entire day has been based on 30 minute bouts and uh, we have four pools of play that are going on. Uh, we will not know really until tomorrow morning every team that advances to the actual knockout rounds Absolutely. itself uh -huh. um, but we do know uh, we do know how some of them are we know that right now we're going to be uh, we're going to see Belgium up against Japan uh, both teams which I believe uh, with a win may still stay alive <laughs> uh, so uh, there will be no definitive in that however the bouts are 30 minutes uh, there are no team timeouts uh, if there should be an official timeout uh, the clock does not stop unless it's for injury. So it's pretty much uh, step on the gas, hit the nitro, and mm -hmm. let her run, isn't it, Panda? Yeah, the, uh, the teams can call a timeout. The clock won't stop if that happens. And uh, I've seen a few official timeouts this afternoon as well. Actually, this morning, I don't think we saw very many timeouts of any kind. I saw any, no. And then uh, this afternoon, I've seen a couple down here, and I've seen uh, a couple up on the Roller Derby City track. So they, yeah, they, they can call for action, but essentially they lose they lose the advantage of being able to stop the clock. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see, as Bob said, the team Belgium taking on team Japan. Belgium in the red, Japan in blue. They're just getting their kit check done now. The home team as it were, or the Belgium team. All right, tell you what, why don't we run through the roster okay. quickly. Go ahead. You want to give us a rundown on the Japanese team first? So the Japanese team, and I hope that I don't uh, screw this up too much. <laughs> In the blue, we got number one, U2, number 113, Gonzi, 136, Soro, 18, Gundam, 1929, DJ Jack, 32, Ikage Soyaro, number four, Ryo Chin, number seven, Umisan, number 99, Bubble, R4, Mayugi Bondai. And unfortunately, number 110, Cho, had left earlier against the uh, after the Canadian bout with mm -hmm. uh, an arm or a uh, dislocated shoulder yeah, or something shoulder of that injury. nature. Uh, this is a roster that is down to probably about seven or eight guys. But I tell you, they have played their hearts out. They have been the darlings of the tournament. There is just Absolutely. no if ands, or buts about it. They've definitely won the crowds over here today, especially with the uh, the skate outs this morning and the fancy footwork. Really wowed a few people. Totally got everybody screaming and shouting for the Japanese team, even if that's not who they're here with. Yeah, yeah. It's And, and that's always the fun part. You never know how that's going to develop. I think we all kind of really felt that it was going to be the Japanese and the Argentine team. Our team team has done quite well today. Yeah, the, the shortest I think of the uh, roster teams. And the uh, J the Japanese team coming off a loss to, uh, they come off a loss to Canada and they had an earlier loss this afternoon. So don't forget folks, if you're going to follow us on Twitter, you can use the hashtag MRDWC. Absolutely. Any thoughts? Whatever you want to put on there. And I tell you, for the Belgium team, we've got number one, Miss Revenge. Number three, Zombich. Number 6.2, Murdoch. Number 24, Phantom. At number 77, Rocky Ball Bearing. Number 88, Trick or Treat. Number 101, Wim Flash. Number 313 is Dr. Gonzo. 404, Jor 
Duramanus, <laughs> number 642, Bertie McFly, 666, Schumer Track, 1010, Niels on Wheels, 1030, Track Vader, 1101, BAB Reckless, number 1111, Johnson, number 1971, One Arm Bandit, 4011, Skinny Revenge, 3NT, Bulldog, and N6, T4, Jepute. Indeed, and it looks like the guys are lining up now. Almost ready to go. We're going to wait for the officials to get themselves into position. And if it's looking a little dark on your monitors at home, it's getting a little dark in here. Yeah, I think not. It might not be dark where you are watching, but thank you for joining us wherever you are on the globe today. We are here live from Birmingham in the Midlands in the UK. So again, by the end of tomorrow morning, they will take they, they will they will take these rounds from today and tomorrow morning, and they will develop the seeds. At which point, they will seed the actual bracket and start and begin to play it. I think after this game today, we should have an indication of who these teams uh, are going to be playing moving forward. Yeah. This is the last game in this particular bracket for these teams. Yeah, uh, once again, they're divided into four pools, uh, and uh, four, four pools of four, or is it? There's one pool with three, one and then three. the others have uh, six. So I, I believe. Four. Four, sorry. So what, what will happen is at the bottom, the ones that end up at the bottom two will drop off into consolation rounds, mm -hmm. and the rest will play for all the marbles. And we're just about ready to get going here. Oh, and look at that! Just like a shot, we got number 88 coming through. That is trick or treat. And. That was no trick or threat, I'm sorry. I, think, I don't know if that was threat or a trick. <laughs> He's through and the Aggie born guy. So trick or threat, can he uh, pull out the old Derby 101, Derby 101 textbook? He's going to take the four points, call off the jam before, uh, before the Japanese team can put any points up on the board. Well, Mayuki Bondi wasn't that far behind him, so... Oh, he did get one. Ah. He did pull one. Okay, next jump. Very, very tight packs. They're coming off the line there. U2 is trying desperately to get his way through the Belgian walls at the back there, but not managing to break through the pipe yeah, just yet. Fan Thum was just working him over. In the meantime, we've got number 1010. That's going to be... It's Niels on wheels. Yep. And it looks like we have a penalty, a tra track cut penalty, sending you two to the penalty box. Yep, and, and a grand slam in, in conjunction with that. So Belgium now with the advantage of the power jam. And sees them take the early lead. And, a, and of course, Panda, both of these teams really suffering uh, in their bouts, mostly because they were, they were way ahead in the penalty column. Mm. Oh, oh, big hit and another retaliatory hit right after that. Knocked to the inside, Niels on wheels needs to fight his way back through that pack, but a clockwise block, uh, sending one of the Japanese blockers penalty bin. Uh, Phantom absolutely saying, welcome to Roller Derby. A little hop's given a jump on the inside there, sends it through for picking up another five points for Niels on wheels. And Niels this time going to go to the outside. Nice job there. He's able to stand up the blocker, then slide off to the inside. Gundam couldn't manage to make enough of an impact there to stop him from getting through. And U2 is back now, completing that initial pass as the jam is called off. Right there we see a nice jam by Niels on wheels, comes through a couple of times, taking just a little bit of a different angle than what the Japanese blockers were looking at to get a hold of him. And uh, 
sheds a couple of blocks, puts up some nice points as we're looking at a 39, or third, sorry, 33 to one score right now. 24, about 24 minutes left on the clock. It was the coming in number 62 there. That's Murdoch jamming for Belgium. And we see Murdoch. Murdoch here, having his way around the track. Zoro jamming for the Japanese team. Sorry, having a little trouble seeing the action on the track here. Zoro coming through, picking up five points for the Japanese team. He's taken down in turn four, struggling to get through that Belgian wall at the front. Oh, a huge hit at the front of the pack there. Goodness me, comes through for another five points. And I tell you, Zoro really uh, was one that came to life for them at the end of the very first bout that we saw them play today. He really did. Definitely won over a few people in the crowd this morning. I think he's, he's one of the one of the older team uh, players on the Japanese team, and he's really made an impact. And when we say older, they're talking pushing 60. Yeah, absolutely. So that definitely shows that there's no limits to how old you are, the shape or size you are in roller derby. There is to mine. I'm fairly certain of that. <laughs> Okay, looks like Zoro was trying to call it off there, but he didn't have lead status, so that wasn't happening. Okay, so just under 24 and a half minutes left in this chat, in this period, in this bout. We've got Belgium playing in red, Japan playing in blue. Japan now on 19 points and Belgium on 43. And let's take a moment to say thank you to Roller Derby City who is the sponsor of the penalty box on this track. And this jam is brought to you by Roller Derby City, Europe's largest supplier of roller derby kit and merchandise. Okay, so we have Belgium with lead jammer status as Boyce trying to get through Track Vader, managing to uh, pick up. Umisan has got the clockwise block penalty call. Yeah, we've seen a lot of that today. As, as you and I both know, it doesn't take a whole lot. A lot of times I think people look at that penalty and they think they have to be skating the wrong direction. No, your body's got to be facing wrong. Oh, right there, look at that nice seal block. Number 77, even though he's get called on a Rocky Ball bearing, he's going to get sent out. That was a heck of a block. His, his jammer goes through totally untouched. We have very few people on the track right now. The Belgians are down to one blocker, Japanese down to two. And this, and this harkens back to what we talked about before, both of these teams. Terrible, terrible time staying out of the penalty box. Yeah. So, oh, Track oh. Vader making easy work of it, extending that Belgian lead, picking up another five points on the Grand Slam. Coast, 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 and a little footwork, and coast, coast, coast. <laughs> Not coming up against an awful lot of opposition in uh, shorthand on the blocker side of things in a power jam. It's working slightly to uh, their advantage there. And he is just putting up <laughs> massive points. Backwards through and on one foot for the fifth point on that one. My goodness, BAB Reckless now coming back into the back of the pack. Another, another five points on the board for Track Vader. Switch out in the penalty box. I think there was a cue on the Belgian team. Yeah, I think you're right. And that's going to end that jam. 
We're also going to see one of the Belgium team, number 88, and that is Trick or Threat. He's on his way to the penalty box for what looked like a track cut penalty. And right now we're looking at about 21.51 left. The score is 83 to 19 in favor of Belgium. Um, Ireland versus Germany ended uh, after 16 minutes due to an injury, unfortunately a broken ankle. Uh, that game was called with Ireland ahead 62 to Germany's 22. So the Belgium team again with leads. Van Toom jamming, taking that inside line really nicely, riding the rope on the way around there, coming through, pulling it off, skating backwards whilst getting a block from the Japanese blockers there. Just want to give a shout out to Donald Morrison and his wife, wishing that they were here. We're thankful that you're joining us um, with the live feed today. We wish they were here too. Absolutely. And they'd be by. They're here in spirit. <laughs> Thanks very much for tuning in wherever you are in the world today. That's right. Don't be afraid to go ahead and find find us on Instagram at the MRDWC Instagram page. And maybe you'll find yourself on the feed. As we go back to the action right now, a little crash. Lead. A Yogi Born Die is your lead jammer. He is the only jammer out on the track. Belgium a little thin. <laughs> yeah, this has been the state of play for the past couple of, of uh, jams in this bout. Um, I think that's Japan's possibly their first lead in this, this game. A lot of tumbling going on on the track as well. Mayugi Bondi making up another five points there for Japan. Oh my, yep. Oh, what a huge hit. Taking the... Uh, and you know what? You don't argue it. You just get off the track. My goodness. It was a blocking out of bounds penalty there. Yeah, his trigger threat came in off the bench and absolutely leveled. Straight, oh, you going die. Straight back into the penalty box. And we we'll see Fantoum back out there. <laughs> and Yugi Born Die getting the crowd pumped up I'm as they close. That's a heck of a jam. I think you can hear the uh, the love and respect for the Japanese team here from all of the all of the fans, regardless of whether they're here supporting Belgium or any of the other teams. They're they're impressed. I think Japan were, were coming into this with was possibly one of the underdogs of the competition. And really impressed a lot of people here today. Oh, it's oh through nice the lead, Jammer. Oh. You too. That's a tremendous counter block right there. And he's not been that stable on his feet today. That's one of the better, that's one of the better sheds of block. He's had nice little shake and bake. Very nice footwork there now, and he's staying on his feet as he's coming down. That's really picking this up now, picking it up with the four points each for the pass there, but somebody looks like they've lost a toe stop on the track as well. And I hate to point out the obvious, but he's got a lot more bend in his knees as he's skating right now. Yeah. Japanese team happy with that. Yeah, well right now, right now they took that lead that was, uh, that looked like it was good, getting out of control and they've, well, they've reeled it back in. We're talking 91.47, we've got 18 minutes left to go. So the next jam is brought to you by Sucker Punch, the official sponsor of Team Belgium. Oh, and very quickly, we're going to see right there, it's going to be number 1030. That's going to be Track Raider, who's going to burst through there in just a shot. Team Belgium doing a pretty nice job on the Japanese jammer, and they're going to take him all the way back. Zoro was struggling there, got knocked out That's on okay. turn one. Zoro gets recycled all the way back into the fourth turn. In the meantime, it remains Track Vader who's out there putting the points up on the board. And oh, bad news for the Japanese squad. A track cut penalty sending Zoro to the penalty bin. To the Roller Derby City penalty box. 
Now Belgium have got all of their blockers on the track. The Japanese skate is still one of their blockers short and now obviously their jam is short as well. Oh, nice move right there by Track Vader. Very Bubble. well anticipated. Bubble now back on the track, so full force on the block inside for the teams. Still the power jam situation to Team Belgium. Five more points on the board, Team Belgium. Yep, a little bit surprised that, that Track Vader uses the exact same move two times in a row to get by on that inside. Maybe that's his tactic. He may be thinking, they're never going to think I'm going to do this. And he does it, and it works. It did. <laughs> Both times, just, they just miss him. And there they finally able to wall him up and stack it up. But it looks like they're going to call it a clockwise block. Uh, it looks like... And I can't see the number. It was number Bubble. Bubble. Yep. And that's going to be the end of that jam. And of course, we, we want to say thank you to Green Monster. Green Monster, all new. Visit us today. And that's at G-R-N-M-N-S-T-R dot com. Green Monster. I don't think Godzilla likes uh, the vowels very much. Okay. Ooh, so Lee Jammer, <laughs> Team Belgium, as he comes out on his knees, that was Bulldog, it, the it first time we've seen him jamming in this. Bulldog, there was so much pressure, just squirted him out the, <laughs> the other side. He was launched. <laughs> That was a flying Superman with a seat grab, and he uh, gets back up. He is lead jammer. So Team Japan coming through and picking up four points, getting some more points on the board now. Mayugi born die jamming for the Team Japan who are in blue today. Team Belgium in red. So I want to give a shout out to Georgia W. Tush cheering for Team Japan on Twitter. Hashtag MRDWC. Thanks very much for joining us. Hey, Georgia. Thanks for joining us. Keep it coming over the course of the weekend. We want to know where you're coming from. Give us a shout out. You never know. We might call it on the feed. If you've got any photographs that you want to post to us on Instagram with the hashtag MRDWC, you might get that reposted on our feed. Japan picking up Lee Jammer there, number U2. It's coming through at quite a pace now. Only two of the Japanese blockers on the track, so he's got an awful lot of hard work to do, but he has got the advantage of Lee Jammer. He's going to try and get through that, and look, I call it just before Belgium get towards the back of the pack. <laughs> All these guys do is call it off, the crowd goes crazy. <laughs> so Georgia checking in, that's from Montreal. Right. So we've had we've had people checking from all over the world once again. If nothing else, hit us up at at that uh, uh, what do they call that one where you Snapchat, right? Instagram. Instagram. That's the one. I don't know. <laughs> I got a teenage daughter. She uses all of them. <laughs> MRDWC at Instagram. We might get you on the feed. And that's going to be number 1101. B.A.B. Reckless. First time we've seen him jamming in this bout. Very strong on the blocking side of things. Absolutely. Oh, nice move right there. But he's got help from number 24, Van Doom, who's had a fantastic bout. And it looks like it was a blocking out of play penalty for Zorro. And he needs to re-enter the penalty box from the correct direction. So he's going all the way around. Uh, that one, that hurts. But he's sitting there almost alongside uh, the 
Two of the blockers from the Belgium team. But the Belgium team now have the advantage of the power jam, picking up five points for BAB records as he passes through. Yeah, they did a nice job of flooding the Japanese team right there and just opening up some room on the outside for him. And there he's got inside space. Little skip step. Makes it look so easy. I have done that before, but not on purpose. <laughs> You like to think that people might have seen it that way. <laughs> no, it probably didn't end well. <laughs> and he's going to be through one more time, and he's piling up the Grand Slam just as the Japanese team's able to kind of eke themselves back into this. Belgium once again starting to pull away. Belgium now have all of their blockers back on the track. Japan have got all of theirs on the track. Jammer still sitting in the penalty box. This pack isn't moving very fast enough, and they're trying to waste a little bit of time because the jammer Zoro is standing. Well, he was for a moment. He didn't manage to enter the track before he tripped over the road. I think he was trying to take some direction from uh, his teammates, and he got a little bit confused there. And I tell you, we're so thankful to have the Japanese team here. We're thankful for the Japanese audience that we have out there listening today. Uh, this is not an assemblage of, ja of men from Japanese leagues. There is no men's Japanese league. These are the guys. These are the guys. Right now, the world team is the representation of Derby in Japan. Of course, we know the WFTDA does have... It does have uh, a Japanese uh, apprentice league, as we're going to see right there. Number 10, 30 track Vader come through. It's a message from Twitter from Devin Bennett. says the Zebras always win. They'll be uh, winning, <laughs> winning the whole tournament. And a nice job right there again by the Belgian Jammer. No, and again, one thing the Japanese team really just needs to work on in general is, is their leverage. Uh, they, they just get standing up a little bit too straight. Uh, they have a tendency to be able to be knocked over fairly easily. So Mayugi Bondi on his way to the penalty box for a four-arms penalty. We had a couple of referees calling that because I don't think he, he realized coming through turn three and four that that call was actually for him until the jammer ref called it. It was called from the outside. So once again, Belgium in the strength of position with the power jump. Track Vader going to have a big, big bout. He's going to put up the majority of the points here in this bout with 9.27 remaining. And right now they're just going to let him go on his own. He's having no trouble at all. On occasion they've been storming and, and creating lanes for him. Getting a little bit of uh, force up at the front of the pack there. Opposition knocking him oh, very nearly to the inside, but didn't quite manage to catch him out there. Right in the inside line through for another five points for Team Belgium. So far we've 29 points. I believe jam. that resulted in another clockwise block. So that's going to send one more Japanese blocker to the penalty box. Is it going to line up right now? We want to say thanks to uh, Quadsgate Shop, who sponsors this track. Europe's original brick and mortar roller derby equipment supplier. Quad Roller Skate Shop has the best selection and the most stock of any store on the continent. With excellent consultation services that only fellow skater could provide. We've got all of you. We've got all your needs covered. We love this game. Okay, so we've got number 77, Rocky Ball Bearing, who was uh, called for a full start, so he's needed to re-enter the pack, having uh, effectively started a lap ahead. <laughs> Lee Jammer already out now to number 404. Yeah, but he's going to get caught coming out of turn number two. It's going to be number seven, Yumasan. Geominus on his way to the penalty box for that cut track. And so a nice pull right there. Yubisan's going to catch him just coming out of the second turn. He doesn't come in back behind him far enough, and he's going to get sent off for a track cut. We have a Japanese power jam. 
Did he realize for a little while there? I think his teammates were telling him he wasn't quite sure, and then he's like, oh, yes, I do. So he's going around now, looking like he's getting a little bit tired. Yeah. The Japanese team now all released from the uh, REC penalty box onto the track. The disadvantage, obviously, is Team Belgium with having their jammer in the penalty box. Five more points on the board for the Japanese team. Crowd are loving it. Earlier today, if you would have seen the line to purchase <laughs> the Japanese team shirts, it literally was about 30 or 40 people. It was crazy. They, I think in the end they only had a few patches and stickers left and there was still a huge queue for those as well. Just 15 seconds in this last jam, Let's see if we can get another, another pass through. As Jerominus comes back onto the track oh, to nice complete right a pass there. and pick up five points because he passed Japanese Jammer on the track. I tell you, Panda, that was all his blocking that time. They had opened up that entire inside lane for him. That was very well done. And as far as broadcast donations go, if you're enjoying listening, drop us a few quid, dollars, you know, whatever, whatever the currency du jour may be. <laughs> and use the link on the broadcast page. Everything that comes in is split 50-50 between the broadcast costs and the team travel funds. We also want to thank the GBEMS. Uh, this next jam brought to you by the GBEMS. Be the Great Britain Emergency Medical Service, I would say, and they are the only UK RDA endorsed medical team. Okay, so we're having a bit of a tussle in turn one off the line now. Still no lead called. A no pass, no penalty situation going on. U2 powering his way through that inside, but lead has been picked up by Team Belgium. Up, oh, Neil's on wheels. That is a great name. <laughs> it is a great name. You two now look trying to look for a break in the back of the pack as uh, Neil's on wheels calls it off. Just a quick second to say we've had a shout out from Linky Gray on Twitter and they say huge love to the announcers, refs and NSOs from Sterling. We are honoured to have your support. Thank you very much for checking in with us today. Yeah, absolutely. And we want to say thanks to the MRDA, the Men's Roller Derby, Men's Roller Derby Association would like to wish all of the teams competing in the Men's Roller Derby World Cup the best of luck this weekend. MRDA is the international go governing body for men's flat track roller derby and wants you to join the growing world of men's roller derby. And you can hit them up at info at mensrollerderbyassociation.com to learn more. Okay, so the situation that we've got at the minute. DJ Jack pivot for the Japanese team in blue is on his way to the penalty box. It's always hard to watch people get knocked backward onto the backside. The one, mm -hmm. one area that you really aren't Tailbone. afraid to fall. You know? There's not much you can do. Nasty. And we're going to see Bulldog out there. Picking up another five points. I think we're starting to see, uh, with 3.46 left, we're, we're starting to see how this is going to turn out. I think the Japanese team is just playing worn out at this point. Yeah, Umisan going in for the attack at the front of the pack there, not quite managing to keep him down. Belgium, I think, managed to, managing to keep their energy up a, a little bit better at this point in the day. But uh, this is the penultimate bout on this track today. Don't forget to join us. Uh, over on the Roller Derby City track as well. You can keep up to date with what's going on there on Twitter. We've got at MRDWC QSS track and MRDWC RDC track. Yep, we're just a couple games away from wrapping up the very first day. What a day it's been. Yeah, it has. It's been absolutely fantastic. That's going to be number 101. That's going to be a whim flash. But I think all the attention at the minute is on you too, as he was breaking his way through the front of the pack. And there's a penalty on Whip. That's Whip Flash, yep. It's back block back penalty. Block, yep. 
leaving Japan with the power jam situation. They're not going to manage to claw any points back for, for, the, for the rankings here, but they are going to do a fantastic job with the crowd in a power jam situation. Oh, yeah, wait, wait until it watch the victory circle. There isn't anybody that they almost don't stop to shake hands with. It's mm. just amazing. They're really, They're really, so much fun. really nice guys. So now we're seeing a jammer switch out in the penalty box as you two sit down. And as this game winds down to about a minute 58, we want to say thank you to Fast Girl Skates. Skate a blue streak with Fast Girl Skates, designers of the blue streak boot with unparalleled, com unparalleled comfort, fit, style, and performance. You two back on the track now, picking up four points. Belgium still looking the stronger team on the track. Oh, but taken down and taking a face hit off of Umisan's knee. But the Umisan now with the clockwise block, sending him to the penalty box. Belgium picking up four points in that last pass. It's It's been one of those games where it seems like it's been bodies drop all day long. There we see it again. You two trying to call off the jam. The jammer, jammer after shaking his head. Those are going to be some dirty uniforms and a lot less sweeping for the crew by the end of this battle. <laughs> so we've got Derby Love coming from Peru and Colombia. We want to say hi to the Bogota Bone Breakers. Thanks very much for joining us this afternoon. I tell you, South America growing so quickly. Thank you for tuning in. Always enjoy the updates that we get about uh, everything that goes on down there. Absolutely. Phenomenal, all the love coming from around the world. It is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for your support. Nudge through there at the front. BAB Reckless managing to get the lead jammer with, I think, a little bit of help from an opposing skater breaking through the front of the pack there, unintentionally, of course. And say blocking out a bounce penalty. Sending one of the Belgian blockers. Belgium in the red. Yep. Japan in the blue. But it's going to it's going to keep BAB reckless. Down to the last couple of seconds. And ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna wrap it up. And I think what we saw here today, or at this moment, pandemonium, is just a matter of a team that that came off a came off a game with an awfully strong team. That is Japan versus Canada, yep. with a depleted bench. And well, quite honestly, they were the team that had the most to learn coming in. And um, that's one great thing about roller derby is. That's the way everybody takes it. We know these guys will look even better tomorrow. Hopefully they'll feel better because they gotta be sore. Yeah. As they all do. Ice baths when they get back to the hotel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so they're just gonna do the high fives. We'll give a couple of shout outs from uh, Twitter. We shout out to, I think it's Leaf, Pearl, and Bender representing New England at MRDWC from Recordian. And we have news of uh, Raven Buster, who is from Team Ireland, has gone to the hospital to be looked after. I'm not too sure what the injury is there. But the score at the end of this game, I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing the scoreboard. We'll feed that back to you when... Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, 241. And 88 to Japan. Yep. So I don't know, we take a look at this and, and again, I think it comes down to experience, comes down to penalties, comes down to uh, stamina, bench strength. Uh, it's just all, uh, certainly no lack of effort, but uh, a Japanese team that uh, when we do this again, I think we're going to see uh, much improved and uh, I think a deeper. derby is definitely gonna go up in, uh, in popularity at that end of the world right now. So I want to say thank you to uh, the lovely Cleverly Crusher sitting next to me, who's been our producer for this um, this bout. She's say me. <laughs> and obviously to the <laughs> lovely Bob thank Noxious you. on thank my you. left.
That's the only time anybody's ever called me lovely. <laughs> oh, there's up, more to come. If they can put up with me, that's usually what I'll settle for. <laughs> we got another two days of it yet, darling, so. <laughs> yeah. All righty, so the next bout on this track is going to be Wales versus Finland, and that's coming up at 7.30 UK time. And then at the moment, we've got Australia and France starting on the RDC track. So and keep so up. we're coming down about the last hour mm -hmm. of Friday. And so join us first thing tomorrow morning as we get started at, I believe, 10 o'clock our time. Yep. I'll tell you what, what time that is your time, but there's so many of you, it'd be just way too difficult. <laughs> we're going to have, I think, an expo bout around about 9 in the morning. And the first game will be starting after that. Um, keep up to date with what's going on on our live website and our Twitter feeds. Hashtag MRDWC. And for Pandemonium, I am Bob Noxious. Thanks, Bob. And thank you. And thank you, everybody who tuned in. And we're going to send it over to a little advertising. <laughs>